Hello, everyone. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Good. Good I'm fine. Excellent, excellent. Hello, good evening. Hello, welcome. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Class, everyone. Thank you. Okay, it is uh... Miss. Yeah. Uh, tonight I will be as a listener and I will try to practice on because I have to do overtime on my work. Today or tomorrow? Today. Today. You're working? Yeah. Thank you for letting me know, Noe. Okay. I also have listeners today. I don't know who sent this message. I cannot get a number. <laughs> but it says, oh, I, I'm guessing is 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 Isela. I'm guessing is Isela. I have Mario Reyes. Yes, teacher, I'm driving. Okay. okay. I go back to the yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, thank you, Mario. And also, Salvador Veracruz, he says that he's a listener today. Okay, you guys, thank you for letting me know. Um, I always need to know, you know, because sometimes they ask what happened with the students, and it's always good if you let me know why you are listeners, right? Especially the ones that are connecting as listeners many times, right? He visto algunas personas que se conectan de oyentes varias veces. So, eh, eh, con más razón hay que justificar. Right. So, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. The microphones, the microphones are on. I'm going to turn off the microphones because, you know, accidents happen. Okay, anyways. So, thank you very much for letting me know if you're going to be a listener or something. Right. Thank you for always being... Um, uh, respectful about that and thank you very much for your punctuality as well you know that is very important for the class now um we are in section two already so i hope everyone is working on section two because uh by the end of this week we need to have the section two finished right so it's very important that you're working on that now we're going to continue with today's topic that is a little bit about yesterday's conversation describing the places you have in your workplace and using there is and there are for that reason, okay? But before we start with today's topic, I would like to go with today's attendance because it's 8 or 5 already. So let's get ready with it. Okay, Adán Antonio Ramirez Aguirre. 
Carlos Amilcar Campos Palencia. Present, Miss. Okay. Daniel Enrique Sifontes Perdomo. Present. Erga de Nilson Reyes Portillo. Present, Miss. Edwin Alexis Pérez Hernández. Esmeralda del Rosario Portillo García. Gabriela Yamilet Ramírez Ceciliano. Present, Miss. Jonathan Stanles Pérez López. Present, Miss. Jorge Ernesto López Rivera. Present, Miss. José Ernesto Alemán García. Karen Berenice Castro Avelar. Present, Miss. Marco Antonio Vanegas Corleto. Present, Miss. Mario Antonio Reyes Berganza. Present, Miss. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. No. Marlon Fabricio Flores Vargas. Oh, ahí veo a Mario Cristóbal. Sí. Okay. Uh, I'm saying Marlon Fabricio Flores Vargas. No. Not today. Marvin Enrique Arguello Joaquín. Present, Miss. Okay. Mauricio Antonio Rivera Rojas. Mario, ¿va a estar de oyente? Si me puede mandar ahí un mensaje en privado, por favor. The, the reason, about the reason. Uh, Noé Aníbal González López. Present, Miss. Noé Gabriel Pérez Martínez. Present, Miss. Salvador Orlando Veracruz Gómez. Sara Raquel Chávez Morán. Present, Miss. Sergio Adolfo Hernández Rosales. Present. En Gisela Guadalupe Martínez Cruz. I think Gisela is oyente. Right, because of the baby. Okay, Mario, just let me know the reason, okay? Envía ahí el mensajito. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much to the ones that are fully present and the ones that are listeners as well. And thank you for telling me the reason. Another thing that I would like to like emphasize maybe is that uh, I appreciate and I say thank you to the people that have the cameras on, the ones that are present and they have the cameras on because, the, you know, that is not something that I, the miss, is asking for, right? It's something that is a requirement, right? Si usted va manejando, no hay problema. <laughs> There's not a problem if you're driving or something like that, okay? And this is just for the people that can be fully present in the class. So thank you very much. Appreciate it, okay? So now... Let's continue with today's topic. And I was telling you, this is about there is and there are, and describing the things that are around a place. So yesterday we had a conversation. So this was yesterday's conversation. And if you can see the word symbol, right? They are, there is, and there are. And we use there is and there are to say like, hay de haber in Spanish. So there is and there are, uh, we can use them with singulars, plurals, and also with uncountable nouns. That's what we're going to learn today. Okay, like how much, how many, and all those things. We're going to emphasize on that, right? So here, let me do like a brief explanation about this, okay? So as, as you know, we use there is and there are to say that something exists, right? Something is present, something is there. So, but there is, we're gonna use it with singulars and also we're gonna use it with <clears throat> uncountables. Now we have there are, and there are, we're going to use it with plurals. I'm sorry, uh, allergies. Okay. 
There are we are gonna use it with plurals like that. Okay. Now again, this is to say that something is there, that something exists. Okay. So this is there is and there are. Now <clears throat> I also have the structures or rules we need to follow for them. So we can use there is plus a plus a noun. Okay, we, we can either use a or we can use n, right? You know that we use a when the next word starts with a consonant or we use n when the next word starts with a vowel, right? There is a or there is n. This is like for affirmative statements, right? There is a computer in front of me, right? This is with prepositions of place. So I'm describing that here in this place, there is a computer in front of me, right? Let's continue. There is a camera on the computer, yeah? So I'm describing, there is a door behind the computer. So, so far you can have an idea about my place. So I have a computer, then there's a camera on there, and then there is a door behind the computer. So you have like an idea. Or we can also say, there is a, right, there is a door, I mean, table, a desk, I'm sorry, under the computer, okay? So I'm describing a place with this and I'm using, this is my place and I'm describing it with it. Now let's see, just to emphasize about the rule. Okay. Now let's go with there are. We can use there are plus number, I mean plus some, or we can say in a specific number, right? plus a noun, a plural noun, nombre plural, verdad, plural noun, okay? Let's do some examples about this as well. Okay. There are some pencils next to the computer, okay? This is, these are continue to be my examples, right? These are my examples. There are, um, there are two flags. So this is in a specific number. There are two flags in the pencil up, there are two windows, let me see, how can I say this, there are two windows in the living room, okay, and there are three doors in the living room, okay? So with this, I have described for you my place. So you can have an idea about how my place is, right? The things that are around me. So there is a desk, there is a computer. I can also say that there is a fan next to me. There is a wall behind my back. There is a chair here. There is a door to my right. So I can describe, you have an idea about the things that I have around me, okay? So what do I want from you now? 
I want you to describe the place where you are in in this moment. And you can send the sentences to the Zoom chat. You can uh, send it privately, las pueden enviar en privado. And you're gonna do like this, four singulars and four plurals. And you're going to describe the place where you are in this moment. Is the activity clear for you guys? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so you're going to do the same as I did. And send it to the chat. Please, if you can, si pueden, envíenlas todas juntos, okay? Todas las oraciones. No vayan a estar enter, 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 please. To the left, it will be to the left, uh, to the right, behind me, or behind of me, okay. Miss, how mm -hmm. can I say? Sala or living room. Corredor. Giving. Living room like this. Living room. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. There is a fan in front of me. There's an armchair behind me. There's a window to my right. There's a refrigerator to my left. Excellent, good job. Remember, cuatro singulares, cuatro plural, right? Four singular, four plurals, four singular, four plurals. There is a, there, there. Oh, oh my God. 
there is someone at the door. There is someone at the door, maybe. There is a pencil on the desk. That is correct. There are many reasons to be happy. Yeah, but you're describing the place where you are, right? The place. That's a good sentence. Let's describe the place. Okay, <clears throat> there is a table in front of me, there is a charger in the table, on the table, right? Because in is adentro, on is sobre. So there is a charger on the table, there is a box under the table, there is a pencil next to the charger. There are five bananas in the table, <laughs> there are two doors in the living room, there are two beds in the room, there are two cups of coffee in the on the table again. <laughs> There are two dishes on the table. There are many trees to my right. There are two chairs to my right. And there are four balls in the bedroom. Excellent. There are two screwdrivers on the box. There are five cubes in the office. There are 10 cars in the parking lot. There are four tires in the floor. Okay. Excellent. Okay, I'm reading your examples. Remember, four singulars, four plurals. There is a spider room. Yeah, what? There is a spider in the room? There is a fan in front of me. There is a lamp on ceiling at the room. There is a lamp in the ceiling. There is a table under the computer. There is a refrigerator in front of me. There are some books next to the computer. There are two glasses on the table, one with water and one, another with Coca-Cola and another. Another with Coca-Cola and another with Coca-Cola will be better. There are some candies on the table. There are some vitamins on the desk. There is a guitar in my room. There is a computer in the living room. There is a refrigerator in the kitchen. There is a TV in my room. There are many pictures. In my room, there are five pencils on my desk. There are many pens in my closet, okay. There are five lights in my house, okay. There is a cup in the table. <laughs> there is a copy book in my hand. And there is a calendar in front of me. Calendar, calendar, no calendar. There is a toy near, near to my daughter. There are some flowers in the garden. There are some fish, excellent in the water, fish is plural. But fish, are you, are you, do you have fish in your room? There are five movies in the living room. There are some photographs in the living room. Photographs or pictures, you can say as well. Okay, two more minutes to finish this activity, everybody. There is a fan to the left 
of me to my left. Sería mejor. To my left. In lugar de decir to the left of me, to my left. There is a backpack, backpack together. To the right of me, to my right. There is a mirror on the table. There is a window in front of me. There are many shoes on the on the shoe. Shoemaker? Shoemaker. No, shoemaker is zapatero. <laughs> no zapatero para guardar zapatos. Okay, you can say shelves, maybe shelves. <laughs> there are many blankets, plural, in the cabinet. There are two pillows behind me, behind me, only behind me, behind of me, no. There are three bottles on the table, okay. There is a TV next to me. There is a phone in front of me. There is a desk, desk next to me. There is a closet in front of me. There are three mirrors in my bedroom. There are three backpacks in my closet. There are two soccer medals on the wall, okay? And there are two fans in my bedroom because it's plural, right? Okay, so you already did your sentences. If you want, you can copy them, pueden copiarlas, because now we're gonna go to the breaker rooms and share that information with our classmates. But this time it's not gonna be written, this time it's gonna be spoken. So you have to speak speak about the things that are around you. So what is the activity right now? We're gonna describe the room where we are in this moment. Speaking, not writing, okay? This is time to share with your classmates. And maybe, just maybe, when we come back and I can ask, for example, let's say, Sara and Edgar and Nielsen were in the same breaker room. And I ask, Sara, okay, can you describe Edgar's room okay so i can say that maybe right to see if you were practicing but if you're practicing i promise i won't ask but if i go to the breaker room and i don't hear you practicing i'm gonna ask okay yeah got it got it okay la hablado es lo entendido dice mi abuelita o soldado avisado no muere en batalla i got it okay Let's see. Let's go. Please. Yeah. I love the... The invite? Yes. Okay, so you were on breaker room. Let me see, Karen. So you are in breaker room one. I'm going to move you to breaker room two, but don't join, okay? No se vaya hoy. Te espero okay. que le mando otra vez la number one. And there we go. Thank you. You're welcome. What happened, Karen? I don't know, Miss. Always when I try to put the invited. Uh, to join the breaker room? Okay, so maybe turn off your camera. Okay. And there. Thank you.
Marlon, welcome. Hello, Mario. Hello, teacher. You're in your house already? Llegando, voy ahorita. Me necesito instalarme, voy. Okay, so I'm going to send you to a break room, okay? Okay. No one is speaking here? Yes, miss. Yes. We are speaking. Okay. Okay. So we want to hear. Lo repetimos entonces lo que habíamos dicho cada uno. So you are you are the only three participating in this room? Carlos, eh, Daniel, en Gabriela. Yes. Ay, ay, estaba Aníbal también, pero ya no lo veo. Okay. Cierto. Mm, there is a, a balón. Balón, balón. Mm, balón, un balón. Eh, only that. Okay. What about Mario? Um, they are three chairs in the ah. kitchen. Okay. Um, there is cell phone next to sofa. And the um, and they are to share in the bedroom and the
Okay, let me see all the class students that I have here today. So let's see, I need to do something really quick. Okay, so I have, uh, wait a moment. So I have Miguel, Jonathan, I have Noé, Jorge, I have Karen, I have Marvin, I have Gabriela, I have Mario Antonio, I have Aníbal, I have, let me see, who else I have? Sara. I don't need these students. I have Daniel. I have Sergio. I have Mauricio. I have Mario Cristobal. Y se me desconecta un orden. Okay. I think those son los que no están de oyentes, ¿verdad? Those are the ones that are not listeners today. Yeah, okay. So what are we going to do? Yeah, you're going to describe your room, pero para que no se vea así ilegal, you're going to do the participations aleatoriamente. Okay, I think I, I typed all your names. If I didn't, I'm sorry. So let's see, who is going to describe the room? The room, it's going to be described by, let's see, 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 let's uh, behind of me, there is a window. And there are five boxes, shoes. Shoes boxes? Juice boxes. Juice boxes. There are six pictures on the, on the wall. There is a desk. There is a bed. And there is a guitar. Guitar? Guitar. There is a chair. There is a chair in my room. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a fan. Okay. Um, there is a clothes. Clothes. Ropero. Uh, it's like closet. Closet. There is a closet. And on the closet, there are many chairs. In the closet. In the closet. Okay. Thank you, Sergio. Thank you. Okay. Let's go with another participation. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, Jonathan. Oh, okay, Miss. Um, I stay in my living room. Okay. They are a lot of, they are a 10 toy on the box. Okay. Toys? Um, on the box. They are three chair in the kitchen. Uh, there is a TV on the table. And the... There is a notebook in the desk. Okay. Uh, there is a chair from the sofa. There is a chair from the sofa. Mm -hmm. okay. Are you not seeing from, from in front of? From in front on the sofa. Okay. 
Okay. Thank Only you, that. Jonathan. Thank you. Yes. And one okay. more participant. Let's see. One more. One more. Marvin. Marvin. Hi. Hi. Good Hi. night. Oh. Um, I am, or oh, I stay, sorry, I stay in no, the you can say, bedroom. I am, I am in my bedroom. Ah, okay. I am in my bedroom. Uh, well, um, there are two beds in the bedroom. And there is a closet. So... Uh, many clothes in in the closet mm -hmm. um, there is a window to my left mm -hmm. um, there is a wall to my right um, and there is a lamp Above, above me. Above me. Above, above me. Okay. And in front of there is a a door in front of me. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Marvin. Thanks. Okay, thank you, you guys, for your participations. That was really good. So now you know we are using there is and there are to describe the place where we are in this moment, but we can also describe uh, our workplace, right? We can describe the workplace and we can say the things that are around the workplace, like there is a computer in the office, there are two desks in the office, things like that, okay? But now, remember, there has to be an agreement. Agreement is like um, concordancia, right? It has to be an agreement between the there is and the noun, because let me show you. For example, if I say there is a car in the park, what is the mistake here? It's plural. Cars, cars plural. Cars, the noun, yes. plural and yes. yes. singular. Right? Yeah, car. There is a car in the park. For I say, for example, there are uh, boxes in front. Sorry, of me. What is the mistake here? Yeah, boxes. boxes. You sure? There are letter there are A. Some. The letter A. Correct. Yeah. Because that means uno, yeah. una, right? And I'm talking about a plural, so it doesn't make sense. There are here. boxes. There are boxes in front of me. Or, or can we can say there are some boxes. And we can say, yeah, it's correct. There are boxes in front of me. And also correct when we say there are some boxes in front of me, okay? Next, let's go. So, for example, I have there is, there is two pencils on the table. What is the mistake there? There are miss. It's there are. So the mistake is here in the verb, right? Because I'm talking about two pencils on the table. So that is really important for it to be, uh, for it to have an agreement between there is and there are in the noun we are talking about. So now let's do an exercise we have in the manual, okay? Let me show you. Okay, so here we have this example, this exercise, and we have uh, five sentences and they have mistakes. You need to find the mistakes and then rewrite the sentence in the correct form. For example, in number one, let's find the mistake. There is two branches in El Salvador. What is the mistake there in the are, sentence? There, there are, are, there are, there are. Mistake there is, are. is, right? So mistake is, are. is. So what I need to do here is rewrite this and say there are two 
branches in El Salvador. Okay, like that. Do you understand the activity we're doing in this moment? Yes. Yes, me. I'm yes. going to send you um, the screenshot to the WhatsApp group. Okay, there we go. And we need to find the mistakes and rewrite the sentences. Let's see. My God, a lot of oyentes every day. Let's see. Okay, let's go.
Okay, let's see the answers to this exercise. So obviously number two, we did it together, right? So we have, uh, the mistake was the for is, it needed to be R, right? There are two branches. And what did we say was the meaning of branches in this context? Sucursal. 
Exactly. Thank you very much. Yes. So there are two branches in El Salvador. Now the next one. Tell me what is the mistake and the correct sentence, please. Um, Gabriela. There is. There is. There is one facilities available. There is one facility. Okay, so there. There are. Okay, so in this case, if I say there, get R is the mistake. Entonces también tendría otro mistake que sería facilities because it's plural, right? So it will be there okay. is one facility available, right? <clears throat> Salvador, please, the next one. <clears throat> um, there are a new office. You sure? Because this one is and ah uh, are correct, so maybe the mistake. Okay, is... entonces there is a new office. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Salvador. <clears throat> There is a new office. Good job. Next, <clears throat> let's go with Sara. Number four, please. What is the mistake? Uh, there. The mistake. There is... are not. Oh. Yeah. So me falta it's like. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, it's al revés, but okay. Sorry. It's al revés, sí. So. They will be not are right. So, how is the sentence? Tell me the sentence. There are not materials to work. Okay, excellent. There are no materials to work. Excellent. <clears throat> Let's go with the next participant. Um, Mario Cristobal. Mauricio Antonio. Sorry, miss. I'm okay. driving. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Keep on driving. Be safe. Carlos Amilcar. There are not three boxes in the lobby. Okay. <clears throat> so the mistake here is there are right? not three boxes in the lobby. Good job, you guys. So, so far I can see that the um agreement between there is and there are with the noun is clear for you. So this is just a conversational practice that we're gonna do. Uh, you already described the place where you are in this moment, but you wrote the sentences first and then you said the sentences to your classmates. Now it's going to be different without writing, sin escribirlas primero, just like improvising, no? solo improvisar en el momento, right? Just in the moment, tell me. How is your workplace? Or what is your office like? ¿Cómo es tu lugar de trabajo? Okay. So the sentence is going to be describe your workplace. What is your office like? <clears throat> First. Do you work in an office? What mention the different work areas in your work place? Okay, so this is the activity. You're going to describe your workplace and you can ask to your classmate, hey, do you work in an office? Yes, I do. No, I don't. What is your office like? Or your workplace like? O el lugar donde trabajas like? ¿Cómo es el lugar? <clears throat> and mention the different work areas in your workplace. For example, um, let's see. Karen, can you ask me the questions? 
you're gonna ask me the questions, okay? Okay. Miss, describe uh do you work in a in an office? No, I don't. I work in a classroom. Okay. You say what what is your classroom? What is your what is your classroom? Like. Like. My classroom is big. It has a really good ceiling. It has a lot of windows. Okay. Mention the different work areas in your classroom. Well, workplace in this case will be the school, right? In the oh, school, okay. there are there is the principal's office. There is a storage room. There is a play playground. Uh, there are different halls. There are many classrooms. And there are a lot of stairs. Muchas gracias. There are a lot, a lot, a lot of stairs. And there are two bathroom areas. And, and I think that is... Oh, there is a kitchen. There is a kitchen and there, there is a coffee shop. Well, not a coffee shop. What would you call it? There is a store like beside the school. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. you see what I did there? I described my workplace. So that is the same activity you're going to do in the moment, right? So not like, espere, me voy a escribir primero. No. Just in the moment, describe the different areas you can find in your workplace. Do you understand the activity we're doing in this moment? Easy, right? Easy peasy. Piece of cake. Mm. Mm -hmm. Easy peasy. Stairs, not a escalera. Stairs, yeah. You can say steps or stairs, the same thing. Okay. Steps are like escalones, right? Okay. Okay, okay let's go. Miss, it's me again. Same problem? Yes. Okay, you are in break room number. Yeah, I'm going to send you to another break room this time. Thank you.
Excellent. Thank you very much for those participations. Now let's go to the next activity, okay? And in this activity, I'm going to have here a short conversation. Again, this conversation is about there is and there are, but in this case, we're talking about questions. Questions with there is and there are, okay? So I'm gonna read the conversation uh, for pronunciation the first time. And then I'm going to go with intonation, okay? Good morning. <clears throat> okay, here we have a mistake. It should be R. Right? We're missing the letter here. Ah, no, my God. It looks ugly. Okay, so I'm going to do something else. And here. Like this. And then I'm gonna write here, R, okay. Yeah. Okay, good morning. Are you Michael Perez? Good morning, yes, I am. My name is Jane Jenner. I'm the supervisor on duty, duty. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. Let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? And if so, are there enough seats for listeners? Yes, absolutely. The conference room is, so here we have another mistake. Should be is. Sorry about that. The conference room is next to the training room. Got it. All together, listen to Hundo. Got it. Got it. Got it. How about lunches or recreational places? Is there a lunch? Yes, it is in front of the cafeteria, inside the new building wing. Okay. Do you have questions about pronunciations or meanings? Lunch. Lunch is the place where you go to eat. So you buy the food in the cafeteria and you go to eat to the lunch room. Okay. Miss, how do you pronounce the started? Let's get started. Okay, let's get started. Started, you say started is correct, but let's get it started. 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 Yeah. Started. Duty. What? Thank you. What is? Duty. Yes. Duty. 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 Uh, yes. So, for example, duty is like work. Uh, deber, but in the meaning of work. Call of duty. Deber, yeah. Duty. Call of duty so, means el, el deber llama. Uh -huh. Supervisor de turno? No. Yeah. In that term, uh, okay, thank you. Okay, I'm going to go with the <clears throat> pronunciation and I'm going to send you the audio. Good morning. Are you Michael Perez? Good morning. Yes, I am. My name is Jane Jenner. I am the new. Let me it. Sorry, I got a mistake. Good morning. Are you Michael Perez? Good morning. Yes, I am. My name is Jane Jenner. I'm the supervisor on duty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. Let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? And if so, are there enough seats for listeners? Yes, absolutely. The conference room is next to
to the training room. Got it. How about lunges or recreational places? Is there a lunch? Yes, it is in front of the cafeteria, inside the new building wing. I'm gonna send you the screenshot, and I'm gonna send you this screenshot because um, the conversation conversation had some mistakes. So if you can share the screenshot instead of the workbook, that will be better. Okay. Okay. There you go. Remember, first we go to practice pronunciation. <clears throat> practice pronunciation as much as you can. Remember important phrases like duty or got it all together, got it. Okay, got it. Okay, there we go.
Okay, now let's go with the intonation. <clears throat> with the intonation, we can say it like this. <clears throat> Good morning. Right, like, <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> Good morning. Are you M Michael Perez? Good morning, yes, I am. My name is Jen Jenner. I'm the supervisor on duty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Miss Jenner. Let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? And if so, are there enough seats for listeners? Yes, absolutely. The conference room is next to the training. Got it. How about lunches or recreational places? Is it a lunch? Yes, it is in front of the cafeteria inside the new building wing. Okay, let me send you the audio. I have a question for you. ¿Los audios le sirven de algo o no funciona que los mande? Really? Yeah, sí yes. funciona. Sí, sí. Okay. Nos sacó yeah. de duda con lunch y lunches. Okay. Lunches. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Like, de los pero todos. No se enoje, pero no se enoje. No, no me enojo. Se les preguntaba por qué <laughs> pensaba yo. Digo, ¿le servirán? Porque veo como cuatro lo han escuchado. So, digo yo, si le servirán, no le servirán. So, I'm going to send you a new one with the um, intonation, okay? Remember, this time is not pronunciation, it's intonation. <clears throat> Good morning. Are you Michael Perez? Good morning. Yes, I am. My name is Jen Jenner. I'm the supervisor on duty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. Let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? And if so, are there enough seats for listeners? Yes, absolutely. The conference room is next to the training room. Got it. How about lunches or recreational places? Is there a lunch? Yes, it is in front of the cafeteria, inside the new building wing. Okay, see this is a little bit shorter because it is not it is not focused on the pronunciation, right? It's more like in the intonation part. Okay. Teacher. Yeah. Uh, the, the last is repeated. Is uh, Michael the last in the conversation? That's yeah, yeah, that's true. Instead of Miss Jenner, it should be Michael, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is true. You're right. This one should be Michael. This one, right? Yeah. Okay, let me see. Okay, let's go.
Hello. So I'm going to choose one couple that is going to do the conversation. We're going to choose Salvador and we're going to choose Karen. Um, Karen, you start. Wait, 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 because I know this can be a little bit confusing. Because Hi. of this, I'm going to put this here. Wait, wait, wait a minute. So I'm sorry. So this is one. Uh, this is another one. I'm sorry that it, this is another one. This is another one. This is another one, right? Another one. And I think here. Okay. You can start, Karen. Okay. Good morning. Are you Michael Perez? Good morning. Yes, I am. My name is Jane Jenner. I'm the supervisor on duty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mr. Jenner. Let's get it started. Is there a conference room in here? And if so, are there enough seats for a listener? Yes, absolutely. The conference room is next to training room. Got it. How about lunches or recreational places? Is there a lunch? Yes, it's in front of the cafeteria inside the new building wing. Excellent, good job, thank you. Just a few, yeah. few corrections. This one you say mister and it's miss, right? And seats and it is, okay, it is, it is. It is. Good job, excellent. Thank you for your participations. And now, yeah, let's go with the last attendance because I know we all want to do the same thing. We all want to go Emimir, right? Excellent. <laughs> Adán Antonio Ramírez Aguirre. Carlos Amilcar Campos Palencia. Present. Daniel Enrique Sifontes Perdomo. Present. Edgar Edilson, I mean, Edgar Edilson Reyes Portillo. Present. Edwin Alexis Pérez Hernández. Esmeralda del Rosario Portillo García. Present. Gabriela Yamilet Ramírez Ceciliano. Present, Miss. Jonathan Stanley Pérez López. Present, Miss. Jorge Ernesto López Rivera. Present, Miss. José Ernesto Alemán García. Karen Berenice Castro Avelar. Present. Marco Antonio Vanegas Corleto. Present, Miss. Uh, Mario Antonio Reyes Berganza. Present. Marlon Fabricio Flores Vargas. Marvin Enrique Arguello Joaquín. Present, Miss. Mauricio Antonio Rivera Rojas. Present, Miss. Miguel Ángel Cortés Campos. Present, Miss. Noé Aníbal González López. Present, Miss. Noé Gabriel Pérez Martínez. Present, Miss. Salvador Orlando Veracruz Gómez. Present, Miss. Sara Raquel Chávez Morán. Present, Miss. Sergio Adolfo Hernández Rosales. Present. And Gisela Guadalupe Martínez Cruz. Okay, that will be it for tonight. Remember que la asistencia Ok, remember que tenés es por los minutos conectados, ok? Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.